Hello everybody, my name is Mohamed Tazman and I'm from Computer Engineering Department. Today I'm going to talk about a thing that will revolutionize how we transport. But I want you to guess what it is. So please take a look at this picture. This is the 5th Avenue uh, in 90s. So can you spot a difference from this and our and today's 5th Avenue? Well, as you can see there are a lot of horse, horses here, right? And I want to ask you, what is the last time that you saw a horse in a city to transport? Well, it might be, uh, maybe you haven't even seen one. And that is actually normal because fast forward to 50 years, uh, Fifth Avenue left with no horses. The cars was uh, all the way around. And I'm going to tell you something. We will not see those lazy cars in the future because today I'm going to talk about how self-driving cars or autonomous vehicles could change our lives. Uh, it is by relieving traffic congestion and the shifting weight of labor. So the reason why I use autonomous vehicles instead of self-driving cars is because a car is a human-sized object where uh, limits our understanding about this issue, where autonomous vehicles should not have to be in the side of a human. Uh, it could be even smaller for smaller jobs. So let me talk about uh, how it will relieve the traffic congestion. If you think about traffic congestion, it, is, uh, it happens because of uh, mainly two reasons. First, uh, car crashes. Uh, obviously, when some car crashes, uh, the road will stuck. Uh, at the intersection points, it is, uh, you can't avoid the uh, slums of intersection points due to its nature. So let me start with car crashes. Now, please take a look at this graph uh, that I took from uh, Victoria, uh, Victoria Technical University's research labs. Uh, it was made, uh, the study was conducted in 2017. Uh, uh, on the horizontal uh, axis, we saw the uh, how severe the crashes are, and on the vertical axis we saw uh, crash rate per million miles. So uh, the dark blue one is autonomous car, where uh, light blue is human dri driving car. So as you can see, as the uh, severity of crashes increases, the uh, risk of autonomous cra uh, cars uh, having a crash is actually uh, really lower than uh, how human driving cars crashes. Uh, this figure is not actually, uh, may not be so good because we don't have enough data about autonomous cars due to uh, they are uh, relatively uh, using new than uh, human driving cars. Uh, there, are, this study used like 10,000 uh, autonomous cars where they had data from millions of human driving cars. Um, the second reason why uh, the traffic congestion will uh, be history uh, because traffic congestion uh, at intersection points is actually because of some cars waiting the other cars to pass for uh, some limited time. But if we use self-driving cars, they can co uh, communicate with each other and they don't have to wait anymore from anywhere. They can just, uh, as you can see, wait for a little bit, break for a little bit, and then push the gas pedal, and they can go on. So, uh, let me talk about my second topic, which is shifting to weight level. So, please take a look at this uh, data that I took from US Census Bureau. Uh, it is from 2016. So, as you can see, there are uh, more than 2.5 million male workers as a driver, sales workers, and truck drivers. So that means, uh, think about it a second. Drivers require salary and they are living beings. They need uh, so much expenses and they make human mistakes like sleeping on the job or uh, having drunk. Those are all problems and they all cost money. So to conclude, we may not see those smiling faces in the future. Uh, for better or worse, we will have self-driving cars um, in our traffic and maybe it will be good for truck drivers too. Maybe they will find better jobs, but it is technology and we can't prevent it anyways. So here's a list of my references. Uh, thank you for listening. If you have any questions, I can gladly answer it.